Hey everyone and welcome back to It's the Little Things with Becky. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today we are going to be testing out the makeup that I got in October's BoxyCharm face box here. Um, I like to do this just to see how awesome the makeup is and a good 100% of the time it usually is. But yeah, I figured we'd do a little review video today and test it out. I already primed my eyes and put on some mascara because you guys know I like to start off with the eyes and also this video is not sponsored anyways let's start off with this cute eyeshadow palette and it's called breakfast in bed by beauty bakery Is that so these are cooler tones in here today so we're about to go cooler I guess So that's what the inside of that looks like. I don't really have a particular thing I want to do, but I guess we'll just play around. But I do want to go in with yawning as a kind of like base, just to build up some color with. Palette does not have a mirror, which kind of stinks, but that's all right. And of course, I will zoom you guys in here in just a minute and show you what I'm doing. There's that eye. So there's the eyes so far. Um, that was actually pretty much like my skin tone color, so you can't really see it too much, but it is pretty. And now let's go in with. I'm feeling like maybe messy hair. So that's like a brownish shade. And then we will go with that with the inner corner of the eye. There's that. And then of course you guys gotta know you gotta do the same thing on the other side. And I'm trying to use as many colors as I can for you guys just so you have a good idea about this palette. And there's the other eye. And then now I am going to go in with yawning in the outer corner of my eye. Yawning's not as dark as I thought it was. It looks darker in the pan. But she's still there. She's showing up. So there's that. Alright, 
so there's how the eyes are looking right now. That one shade wasn't as dark as I was thinking it was. So, what I'm going to do is go on with a blending brush and just kind of blend those out. Alright, now what I am going to do is take my finger, because it looks like a shimmery shade, and go on with pajamas, which is this color right up top here. Ooh, they feel really nice and soft. But that's what that color looks like here on my finger. And I am just going to tap that on the eye. That's what that looks like. That shade is so pretty. there's the other one how that's looking all right so i think we are going to be done with the eyeshadow palette for now but that yawning shade is super pretty so guys i'm going to clean up my eyes off camera and then i'm also going to put on my primer concealer foundation because we don't have anything new from there and i will be with you guys in just a sec with the next step Alright guys i'm back i have half my face on here now we get to go to the next step which is the Real Hair Ultimate Glow Getter Cheek Trio. I love this marble packaging. I mean, look how cute that is. And this is a bronzer, blush, and highlighter all in one. Which we like. I mean, how travel friendly is that? Seriously. Cute. Alright, so that's what it's looking like inside here. You got your blush, highlight, bronzer, blush is in Blessed, highlight is in Goddess, and this is in Incredible Bronzer. So first, let's start off with the bronzer here. I don't know if that's going to be too warm for me, but we will find out. Looks just a tad dark. Or not warm, I'm sorry, I meant dark. But... That's alright, we'll make it work. Oh my goodness gracious. Alright, that is, we're definitely going to have to blend that out. Less is more. With this. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to blend that out, but she is pigmented. We will give her that. I'm just blending her out. Oh, she blends out pretty nicely, too. You guys see that? So that's good. Alright, so there's that sign. There's that sign. Okay, she blends out nicely, so that's nice. Now let's move on to blush. And that is in Blessed. And that looks like a coral pink color. Ooh, that is a lot. All 
right, friends, she is pigmented too. So that's good, and definitely less is more. I'll just put some on the end of my nose today. There's that. And that not blended out. I will say this. This little guy is pigmented. I'm definitely going to blend that out. Okay, she's blending out decently. And guys, I too tend to go on with a heavier hand. So, don't go in with a heavy hand with this. But she is blending out really nicely. She's actually about the same color as my sponge here. that side there's that side now it's time for highlighter like I said less is more we are learning our lesson here so a very thin hand and this is in goddess you guys know I like to highlight oh she's pigmented too Just add a little bit more on my cheekbones here. And we can build her up. You guys see that? Pretty. I'm just adding a tiny bit more. So there's that side. There's that side. And this is all blending out extremely well, guys. Ooh, I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So. We like this, this little guy a lot. Packs a punch. She's tiny, but mighty. And then the last, or second to last thing that we have is this. And I, I know I'm going to butcher this name because I butchered it in the previous video I did when I was opening it. This is the Soul. I never know if I'm reading that right. Let me get out my little thing here. The uh, Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss Tinted Capuchu Lip Butter. We got a lip butter here with a very long name, but that's what she looks like. And then, so she is a brown matte, which is totally fine. And then this is what she looks like out of the packaging. And then we have the shade Soul Mate, and there's the space between Soul and Mate. Mmm, it smells good, like caramel. So she looks like that. Now she's a tinted, so. like you're supposed to see like a tint of it rather than like my whole lips being covered this also helps to chap lips too mm, that made them nice and soft mm, 
smells so good. Let me just take a little Q-tip and clean that little spot here real quick. This is she's looking like. So it's just like a tint and not necessarily a color, but I like the way it feels on my lips. It's really nice. And our last and final thing, guys, is the Tarte Maracuja Miracle Mist Setting Spray. I'm not sure if I said that right, but in my head it sounds nice. Let's see if my camera will focus here. Focus. Not on my face. On this. There we go. So there's that. Shake it before we use it here. Before I do that though, I am just going to blend this out a tiny bit more. Just to make sure we are all blended out so that way I don't look like I was punched in the face or nothing. But I'm thinking she looks good. We are ready. Ooh, that's a gentle mist. That's nice. Mmm, smells nice too. Banning myself here. Alright guys, let's talk about our final thoughts real quick with everything. So, this eyeshadow palette, it's more I like it um it's more cooler tones and I'll have to play around with this a little bit more but I do like this and I would definitely go out and get this again so a plus to that uh you got your variety of shimmers and mattes in there too which is nice and they're pretty pigmented that one brown we had to work with a little bit but I'm not mad at her and then let's talk about this this old girl here packs focus on that there you go a packs a punch. She means business. She came here to do her job and she does her job well. She's very pigmented. Go in with a light hand on her. I love this. I would definitely go out and get this again. Plus, I'm a sucker for marble packaging. This lip butter, I like it a lot. It's just like a tint of brown on the lips, but it smells really good. And it's also hydrating on the lips. And I don't know about you guys, but I suffer from chapped lips all year round. So this is going to be very, very nice. We like it. And then last but not least, let's talk about this setting mist here. You guys know I like mists a little bit more than setting sprays. Um, it smells really nice. It's really gentle. It doesn't hit you like a super soaker to the face. We love that here. I would definitely go out and get this again. She is nice. I just wish my camera would focus on that a little bit more. But she is in an all white lilac purple bottle. Anyways, guys, this is the final look. But I'm very impressed with this month's box. I would definitely give it a big old thumbs up. Like I said, this video is not sponsored. But if you guys are interested, I will have a referral link and code in the description box in case anybody's interested in signing up for BoxyCharm. Um, yeah guys, that's it for me. I am going to go ahead and head out of here. I hope you guys are all well, and I will see you soon with another new video.